Ever wondered why sample size determination is such a crucial step in research? It's pivotal in experiment. Your sample size must offer sufficient statistical power to discover noteworthy effects, balancing the threat of type 2 error. A small sample can yield inaccurate results. Conversely, a huge one wastes time and resources. Traditional techniques for determining sample size have shortcomings, necessitating innovative strategies. But traditional methods of sample size determination have their limitations, creating a need for more dynamic and robust approaches. Traditional methods of sample size determination have long served researchers, but they're not without their flaws. They rely on assumptions about data distribution and effect sizes. However, research often involves complex data and uncertainty. These factors can lead to inaccurate sample size requirements with traditional methods. The result can be imprecision, reduced statistical power, or wasted resources. A more effective method is needed. What if there's a method that can provide a more accurate and robust estimate of the required sample size? Enter Monte Carlo methods. Monte Carlo methods, named after the famous casino, bring the power of random sampling and simulation to the field of sample size determination. The method is named after the Monte Carlo Casino in Monaco, where the developers of the method, Stanislaw Ulam and Nicholas Metropolis, were said to have spent a lot of time. The casino is known for games of chance, a fitting metaphor for the random sampling used in the Monte Carlo method. These methods take us on a journey that starts with defining the statistical problem we aim to tackle. This could be estimating a population parameter, conducting a hypothesis test, or constructing a confidence interval. Next, we embark on modeling the population, creating a mathematical representation that echoes key assumptions about the data distribution, effect sizes, and other relevant parameters. Once our model is ready, we simulate data, generating a multitude of random samples, each one a reflection of a hypothetical real-world sample. Then, we perform statistical analysis on each simulated data set, applying the same processes we would to actual data. This could mean computing sample statistics, conducting hypothesis tests, or constructing confidence intervals. The beauty of Monte Carlo methods lies in their repetition. We recreate steps three and four thousands, even millions of times, to generate a distribution of outcomes based on diverse random samples. Finally, we analyze the results, examining the distribution to evaluate the variability of our statistical estimates and the power of our hypothesis tests. With Monte Carlo methods, Researchers can gain a more realistic and flexible approach to sample size determination, accounting for uncertainties and complex data structures. With Monte Carlo methods, the house always wins. But what does this mean for researchers? It means flexibility. As these methods can handle complex data structures and non-normality, it means accounting for uncertainty, helping researchers navigate even when precise parameter values are unknown. And it's all about power analysis capabilities providing a robust way to estimate the required sample size. So next time you're faced with the challenge of determining sample size, remember the power of Monte Carlo methods. It's all about playing your cards right.